Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. Today I would like to dive into an in-depth review with you all. I would like to take an up-close look at this tattoo machine from a company called Bronk. Now, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it with you all. We're going to test the performance and anything that I can possibly relay to you all in this video, I'm going to do so. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video on something that you may see or hear, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I will also leave links in the description below for you so you can check this out on your end. With that being said, let's dive straight on into this. So again, this is going to be a tattoo machine right here from Bronk. I believe it's called Staves, S-T-A-V-E-S, -E Staves. I'm not sure if my pronunciation is absolutely correct. However, I believe that's the pronunciation. As you can see, there's a holograph right there. Very nice graphics on the box. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic and take a close up look at what's under the hood. So right here, I'm just gonna remove the plastic. Let's go ahead and remove the top here. very snug fit so upon opening we are greeted with user manuals here's a special note please feel free to watch I mean pause and read this on your end should you choose to do so it actually has a user manual right here for the tattoo machine so this is an instructional manual So it does have English as well right here. So it has everything that we need to know about this machine right here. We will go ahead and get into that here a bit later. Let's actually get into the contents. So as soon as I open here, I am greeted with the contents and there are all of its entirety here. So it looks as though we have a charging cable up top. We have some O-rings right here, very nice. We have a charging block to go with this. That's actually really good. Thank you, we appreciate that. Here is an RCA adapter, which is actually really nice. Um, a lot of machines are having the RCA adapters and machines that are truly wireless. They're also offering the abilities now to be RCA so we can use a third party wireless power supply and or a standard power supply. That's a thumbs up right there. And this is a unit right here. Allow me to move this on over to the side. And that's all of the contents inside the box here. Let's take a close look at the actual machine. So it definitely sits in my hand comfortably. and It takes less effort to hold it here. It sits more naturally is ultimately what I'm saying here. Especially to go ahead and make some, you know, uh, stippling whip motions here. I'm very excited to test out how it lines. We're gonna go ahead and test out all of the performances here to see what it does here. It is a click grip as you can see. Allow me to show you all the build of the machine here up close. This is the top right here. And please note that these aren't buttons. This is an, act an LED screen right here. It does have a jump start feature right there. You see just a soft press there, and it registers your selections. And to switch over to the RCA adapter, per the user manual right here, it just says to rotate the whole top of the part, this top part of the machine, counterclockwise, and clockwise on the RCA adapter to screw it back on. For now though, I'm going to stick with this battery right here since it's charged and ready to go on my end. What I would like to do is I would like to get into the wrapping aspect of this machine and I want to go about testing it out so I can really see how this machine performs so I can give you all an honest opinion here. But overall though, this machine on at first impressions, it's different from what I've typically seen because of this interface right here as well as the shape so what I would like to do is I'm still going to approach it the same way in terms of wrapping so let's get into that 
wrapping my machine, I'm actually just going to use a simple saran wrap right here. And I'm going to approach it the way I typically do on all of my machines here that are pin style. I'm going to start by removing the grip. I'm going to place a saran wrap around the top up here. Like this. So I have a top layer around the top part of my machine right here. For those who are a bit more pickier like I am, we can double layer it as well. So as you can see, we have another layer right there. Is the screen still responsive? Absolutely. You can see that it's on right there. We're good to go. And then I'm going to repeat that process with the grip at the bottom right here. Same thing, and after that we just wrap some adhesive around it and we have a fully wrapped machine. So here we are, ready to go. The machine is fully wrapped. What I am gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive wrap right here, and I'm going to place it around my machine. I'm gonna use this to hold the plastic in place, as well as to provide me with a bit more comfort as well. And I said as well twice there, but it's okay. So there we have it, and another adhesive wrap can go around here, so let's get that done. So as you see, now it's fully wrapped. I can still adjust my needle depth. Still turn the machine on, and we are ready to tattoo. So that's how I would go about wrapping this machine right here. I want to jump into the user manual real quick and share a few things with you all. So feel free to pause at any time to go ahead and thoroughly read this on your end. So that's the user manual right there for those who are interested and want to get more acquainted with this machine. What I would personally like to do now is get on over into the performance aspect so that way we can come back and give you all my final opinions and I would like to relay my final uh, any information that I may have on this machine for you all. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into that.
Okay, so allow me to relay some of my final opinions and some insight on the Bronx Staves Tattoo Machine right here, or the Staves Tattoo Machine. So from me to you, after some experience with this machine, this is an all-around good machine. If you're looking for a machine that's hard-hitting, that's going to be good for packing and lining with ease, then you may want to look into another machine. Not saying that this machine can't do that because this machine is completely capable of lining as you saw in the video. However, this machine is more to the mid to soft hitting in my opinion from my experience over a really hard hitting machine. So this machine would be great for say shading if you're going to do dot work. And again, that's not to say that it's not capable of lining because it is. However, yet again, if you're looking for that super hard hit, then this machine may not be the right one for you as it is again a mid to soft hit but that is what it is in terms of dot work shading stippling all of that this exceeds my expectations and does that flawlessly it has a nice soft hit the voltage range is also dynamic as well so i'm able to really fluctuate between voltages that i truly use which is five volts sometimes i go up to eight depending on the machine all in all though i will give this machine a thumbs up and about a 3.5 3.7 stars here's why i do give it about a 3.5 3.7 stars because again it is capable of performing in terms of shading pushing smaller needles it'll be great for dainty tattoos if we're trying to do full-blown like lining with round shaders and really big configurations this may not be the machine to go with so that is one of the reasons why I'm ranking it at a 3.7 3.5 another reason is because me personally I like to be able to take out all of the components of the machine so that way I can thoroughly clean inside of my machines and really disinfect sterilize put components into an autoclave we can put the grip into an autoclave but we can't for this this part of the machine up here it is what that is as well but that's how i feel about this machine now if you have any questions if i didn't touch base on anything specific that you may have wanted to know throughout this video please i'm going to encourage you drop a comment below i'll do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube account. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I also have a Patreon. I would truly appreciate the support on there as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I will be bringing more videos like this. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.